Mary had a beautiful garden. One fourth of the flowers were red, two fifths of the remainder were yellow, and the rest were pink. There were 18 pink flowers. How many flowers were in Mary's garden? So after the kids read it, the first thing they do is they write an answer statement. That helps focus them on what are they looking at. Okay. There were blank flowers. Because you know when that kids get to the test, they answer a question, just not the one being asked, and that answer there as a distractor. So who are we talking about? We're talking about Mary. Mary's what? Mary's flowers. I'm finding my variable. Then I draw a unit bar. Now I go back and I read the problem a second time. This time I read just one piece at a time and I plug it into my mom. Mary had a beautiful garden. Stop. Any information in there? No. One fourth of the flowers were red. So what should I do with this? Okay, so I'm going to divide it into fourths. And I know this piece right here is red, and I check it off. It helps your fast kids slow down, make sure they get everything. It helps your kids who are struggling go just one piece at a time. Two fifths of the remainder are yellow. Well, right there's the remainder, but I'm gonna draw this into a new bar. And I have to divide that remainder into fifths. And I know two-fifths of the remainder are pink. Oops, we're yellow. And the rest are pink. So these guys right here are pink. There were 18 pink flowers. So this piece right here equals 18. How many flowers are in her garden? I'm looking for the total flowers in her garden. I put my question mark in place. Okay, so. This is a fraction, these pieces are all equal. And this piece equals 18, so each piece must equal six. That means these pieces have to also equal six, so there must be 12 yellow. Now remember, this piece is equal to that. So this whole thing here is six times five is 30. And I know this up there is also equal to 30. So each of these is worth 10. That means that one's worth 10. So there's 40 flowers in her garden. Wow. So this is a consistent model. Like when I taught, I used to have those icons that work backwards, make a table of chart, think logically. But this time, the kids always go to model drawing. They use the same consistent model.